Hey guys, welcome to this first Saturday edition of the Scott Take Hot Take. You know, we're on fire with throwing out content. We had a great week of content, starting with the Harvard vlog in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We had Harvard. Then we had producer Mike Fish on. You got to see a face to his name a couple days ago. And Mike said, why don't we put one out on Saturday? Because people are enjoying our content. They're enjoying our videos. Why take the weekend off? So here we are. We are talking about the Olympic Games, another major story. Originally, 10,000 fans were going to be permitted in the Olympic Games venues. As of Thursday, that was shut down. And Tokyo, Japan, Olympics starting July 23rd will now have zero fans attending due to the COVID virus variant Delta. What a bummer, folks. They just have not lucked out in Tokyo. Obviously having it delayed a year because of COVID. A year later, the virus is spreading all over Japan. I mean, it's all over the world. It's kind of scary. It's not good what we're going through with the Delta variant. Please get vaccinated if you haven't. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the financial realm of what this is going to cost the Tokyo Japan Olympics. SBJ tweeted out yesterday, Tokyo, Japan spent $8 billion building the facilities. $8 billion down the drains, no fans. Probably going to use them one time, never again. That's what happens in most of the Olympics over the years. And we have just stadiums that sit in empty until the end of time. And $800 million in projected ticket sales revenue down the drain. Never going to be seen. That is almost $9 billion just lost on ticket sales and building the venues alone. That doesn't take effect the amount of media sales that NBC has involved. Who's going to watch? Who isn't? Sponsorships. It is a complete train wreck financially for these summer games. And I feel so bad for Tokyo, Japan. Hopefully the games will be played, the athletes will be safe, and we'll have a good Olympics. But financially, $9 billion down the drain just off of ticket sales and building the facilities and venues alone. That is absolutely amazing. The last time we had the summer games in the U.S. was the Olympics in 96. And the last time we had the winter games was in Salt Lake City in 2002. And not much thought was really brought into the ticket sales realm. They're already planning ticket sales for the LA games in 2028. So just imagine they're already planning the game seven years in advance, ticket sales, premium venues, hospitality, et cetera, already have a sales team in place for the most part. And you get told two weeks before the Olympics in Japan, no ticket sales, no fans whatsoever. What a complete disaster. $9 billion down the drain. Mike and I would take a fraction of that in our pockets. But that's all the time we have for this Scott Take Hot Take. We'll be joining you again in two short days for Scott Takes, vlog number nine. Have a great rest of your weekend. Keep it lean and clean.